morning guys so this is where we're at right now we're packing everything up here on Chamberlain and we are going to head up to Allagash Lake we hope that you're still continuing along with this journey mostly for entertainment over anything our first excursion to Chamberlain Lake was not what we thought it was gonna be and there's a lot of factors that could be why we didn't catch a single fish one of them being that we did bring dead bait and you can use live bait here uh, we just with bringing everything and staying multiple nights and driving up it just wasn't an easy task to accomplish to keep bait fish alive so we decided to brine them make them stinky thought it'd be a little bit appetizing as well but it could have been what caused us not catch fish. The other thing was just the pressure. We are big pressure fishermen. There was just so many swings in the pressure. It was really, really, really low when we got here. And then it swung. We had a huge storm. We got about a foot of snow. And then the next morning waking up, it was bluebird skies and the pressure was really, really high. We just may have missed um, when they're feeding the best, but I'm not gonna not share that with you all, so. If this is the first video that you're watching of this series, go back and watch the first couple videos. They're very entertaining. I have a lot of high hopes for Allagash Lake though. I hope to bring you some good fishing content and a more comfortable shack setup. here is to have just everything ready to go so Keenan really doesn't have to come in here and help me with anything. Wow, it's hot. If you guys haven't already, if you've been following me or you're new here, this is the suit that I wear. If you're interested, I love it. They're extremely lightweight. One of the best features that I like about this gear is that I can undo the straps on the side, zip it down, and go to the bathroom, and they have a lifetime warranty. Check them out down below. They also have uh, all men's gear. Uh, they have stuff for like spring fishing, summer fishing, rain gear. They have um, UPF 50 shirts. And the other kicker is it's extremely affordable. Probably not gonna put that in there. Yeah.
All right, well, we made it to Allagash Lake. Last year, they had the whole road plowed. You could park down there super close to the lake. Super excited about that. This year, it's not plowed. So, we are on the main road. Keenan's unloading the sled and the jet sled and the shack and he's going to take his chainsaw and I think the ice shack and do like the first run to pack down a path because nobody's been in here and for all we know we can just go down the road and drive that road could be plowed down there we don't know yet so we're gonna figure it out I want this, but I don't know if this is anything. Well, they've completely demolished our trail to get to Allagash Lake. And so we're trying to find the trail. So we're walking. This week has been a week. We've caught no fish. We have gotten flooded out. We soaked the paper towels. I spilt my spaghetti everywhere last night. And now, we can't even get into our favorite place. There's, there's the option to just jet sled in everything, which is just... A pain in the ass. Heavy. Yeah. A lot of trips. Find our shortest walk in. Well, it looks like if we kind of stay straight this way, at some point we're gonna get, I mean, we're gonna get to the boundary. Oh wait, this is, this is the ledges, so stay this way. We're gonna get into the Allagash Wilderness Waterway and that's when we're gonna find the trail because they can't cut there. An adventure, what more do we need? Yeah. Well, we uh, made it out to the pond and brought a canoe with us. And now we're trying to get to the gash, fighting through a whole freaking timber operation. Timber operation but uh, we're going for it. We're here for it. Our other, nobody wants to go home. We've just had a ton of casualties. It's been rough. Hopefully Mother Nature will reward us. The universe, higher power, God, Jesus, whoever's putting a damper on our week, just flip it around, please. Someone told me you'd have to redo everything again, but at the end you do get that five pound book you had to do all again. I'd be right next to you, hon. So, we're hooking everything back up, and we're going for it. It's dark. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. I have to take this moment to just tell Keenan how much I love him, and how much I appreciate everything he's done. We've both kind of been having a harder time than normal when we go on trips like this, because we're usually catching fish and all good and things happen and we've both been doing very well with it I think it is what it is is what we keep saying and we're bound and determined to get into Allagash Lake Keena says he doesn't even care if he doesn't catch a fish there he just wants to get in and continue out this planned trip we also have only eaten a muffin today and my stomach is rumbling. Usually I'm good about having snacks in here while we're driving, but nope, all in the back. Yeah.
Gotta be a hundred pounds with all that ice. I really explained it out to you guys but there's usually a trail that we take to get down in here last year it was plowed and it cut off half of our trip it was phenomenal this year it wasn't plowed so Keenan's like all right we're gonna have to ride down it well Keenan rode down it and it was a mess they've been logging through there so there's like skitter trails that are like frozen and like deep tire tread marks ruts and everything so he had to like fight the snowmobile get it all unstuck come back out and then go from there i looked on my onyx shout out to onyx for saving the day and i saw where other roads attached down to where we were trying to get and we knew that they were actively cutting in there so there had to be a road to get down in there so we drove down a ways found that road followed that road down, met a very big truck hauling a very big load that was so kind to let us go through and backed up for us. That was crazy. And it was like the end of their work day, luckily. So good thing to come on Thursday. They don't work on Fridays. And they were all heading out. So from there, we had to find our old trail. And now everything's just been cut. But because it's right on the border 
of Allagash Wilderness Waterway, they're not allowed to cut that land, that state-owned land. So we basically had to find the border of where that started and then try to find the trail. Luckily, I have Onyx, so we were able to follow where we thought the trail was, found the trail, connected onto the trail, and then tracked our way out. So now I have it tracked on my phone where that trail is at all times. There was really only two major spots to get the sled through and Keenan had his chainsaw, which is a godsend. So we were able to cut down all the fallen trees and get through one of the bigger skitter trails and we made it. I, I can't believe it, but we made it. We haven't eaten anything all day. We barely drank any water and we are exhausted. I mean, just walking around trying to find the trail took us about an hour and 15 minutes and then we had to drive back to where we were parked to get the snowmobile and the trailer because we unhooked from that to ride around and find try to find a way to get here our other two options was to try to go to the south end of the lake um, because I know that they're hauling down there so stuff is plowed out down there um, and other than that the other option was to go home and we did not want to go home we have been having such a freaking week that we need a reward and our reward is coming here because we for one we love this lake this is our favorite lake for two we're not on the ice we're on land and three we catch fish here I mean we always catch fish here it's been a long day it's been a real long day first guy.